can't remember how long ago it was that I made my first um, prawn linguine, but ever since then my dad has been um, begging me to once again make it. And though it may not be uh, outwardly famous, it is certainly famous within my household. And today we're making prawn linguine without linguine. This is like half spaghetti, we didn't have enough to feed everyone in my family, so um, I, I kind of like went half and half. I mean, technically it's got linguine in, but it's just not entirely linguine. Don't worry, we do have prawns in this. Um, I'm not lying about that part. Now, as the pasta goes into the pan and the water is setting to boil, we're going to get out the frying pan and pour some oil in it. To the oil, I'm going to add some peppercorns, along with some cumin seeds. Now their flavours will infuse into the oil, and when we're ready, we simply put the prawns straight into the hot pan. Now this step is kind of simple, we just let them fry for about 5-10 minutes until they're cooked through completely. I'm cooking these from frozen, if you're cooking them from fresh or something, it's going to take a lot less time to cook. Now on the bottom it's beginning to stick, that's not necessarily a worrying factor, all we need to do is add a bit of white wine vinegar and mix around and that will remove any of the sticking and deglaze the bottom of the pan. Once again, caramelised, not burnt, I swear. And don't worry if you don't like the acidity of vinegar, it will easily boil down by the time this is done, to the point where it is barely noticeable at all in the final dish. Okay, now we need to turn down the heat all the way to the lowest setting. We're going to be adding in some spices that will easily burn if we're not careful. And I hate to say it, but we had run out of garlic, so we have to use the cursed garlic powder. Not nearly as nice as fresh garlic, but you've got to go with what you've got, I guess. If you are lucky enough to have fresh garlic, definitely use that. Chop it into thin slices and fry it towards the end of where the prawns are in. Or you could do it right at the start if you don't like the taste of the stronger tasting garlic. To be honest, it's up to you when you put the garlic in. You could put it in at the end if you preferred, but the longer you wait, the stronger it'll be. So anyway, we stir this around. So as I was saying, we put in some cayenne pepper, some garlic powder, <coughs> uh, some chili powder, some coriander, and some ginger. Now, maybe it's not exactly authentically Italian, but you know, you've got to mix it up a little bit. Now we're going to be adding in a tin of tomatoes. I've blitzed these up to a fine paste that we can add in. At this point, the heat is on low, but as soon as this is in, we can once again turn it up and it'll begin to boil down and reduce. To this, I add some mixed herbs. To be honest, I don't really think it matters what you add at this stage, uh, herb-wise. It'll taste nice in the end. It's completely up to your taste buds when you are talking about herbs and spices. I now add in any fresh herbs I have on my windowsill. I think I used rosemary here, and then the secret ingredient of sugar. Now it's not as spicy as I'd like it, so I add a tiny bit more cayenne pepper and I let that cook through. After the cayenne pepper we're going to add some water, and if you use the can that you got the tomatoes from, you can kind of multitask, you can wash it out at the same time that you add the water, and then you can just instantly throw away the can. This will help the sauce continue to cook while the pasta cooks, and eventually we can just let the sauce reduce down if we've added a bit too much water, which I think I maybe added a tiny bit too much here. But anyway, that's going to reduce down, takes about 5-10 minutes. We then pour the drained pasta into the pan and simply move around all of the sauce and the prawns to coat the pasta completely. You have the obligatory um, cheese grating. And then finish with a tiny bit of salt. And 
there you have it, the prom linguini is finished.